Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can make this 12 volt 3S battery. And as you can see, just by looking at it, it is made out of uh, 18650 battery along with the BMS. So this is a very easy battery to make for your DIY projects. And this is obviously a 12 volt, so pretty standard voltage it is also. And I have also made a case for it to put it in so that these exposed wire don't short anywhere else with the circuit. So without wasting time, let's get started. So for this, we will need a total of three batteries minimum to make a 12 volt battery. So this is a simple 18650 3.7 volt battery. And one thing good about this battery is that it is actually a lithium ion battery. So it is slightly more durable than the lithium polymer battery because the lithium polymer battery has to be taken care of a lot. So that's why I opted out for these lithium ion batteries. And it's basically the same as lithium polymer 3.7 is their optimal voltage and maximum charge is 4.2 volts and it has two terminals obviously this is the negative terminal and oops this is the positive terminal over here and I said three but uh, I have shown you six so what I'm going to do is just uh, place three of them in series just like so so that uh, 3.7 3.7 3.7 will ha total have 11.1 volts which is obviously called 12 volts and then I will add another row of batteries just like so just like this so that uh, we will have the same voltage but as these are connected in parallel we will have double the storage and we will have more amperes coming out of the battery and speaking of ampere we will need a very good protection board to protect and keep the batteries at equal charge so i am using this bms over here and you can find it in any of the robotics websites that you go through to purchase all your stuff i actually got the batteries and the board from the same online store and this is a 25 amp board as you can see it is written right over here 25 amps so it can provide a maximum power of 25 amps at 12 volts so that's i mean more than enough for my projects then to make life a bit easier i am using these brackets over here so that uh, i can easily maintain the shape of the batteries because uh, i mean if you look at them then you will just need to put a lot of tape or hot glue them together to keep this structure in place but uh, by using these brackets it makes the job a lot easier so now let's start to build them First we will just uh, place the batteries just like this. So what I am going to do is just connect these two terminals together and these two terminals together. So this will act as a single battery if you want to say it like that. Just keep it in there and then we will place another two batteries in the opposite direction. So this is a single battery, this is a single battery. You connect the positive here and the negative here. So this will act as a single battery but with double voltage and then we will add just another one and if you don't know about the series and parallel connection of the batteries i really recommend you to check that out because if you screw anything here then that that would be pretty disastrous because if you short one of these batteries you can either blow up your house because these are very powerful batteries so just keep that in mind and then place your bracket just on the top like that so as you can see it has now a very good shape and then you can place your board just like this on the top as well. Now to connect them all together you can do two things. One is the recommended one which is to actually spot weld them together. So you have an option of uh, buying a metallic strip that uh, is made uh, I think of nickel. So what they do is just uh, spot weld them onto the batteries over here so that uh, it can have a nice secure connection and it is a quite thick wire so current transfer is also very good but uh, I don't have a spot welder neither the strip so what I am going to do is just put some solder at the middle of each of the batteries same on the bottom as well and then after that I can connect it with the BMS so let's solder them together so here is the final look and as you can see I have put tape on the outside there just to make sure that they don't move around because these brackets are just big enough to fit the battery inside and just uh, wiggle a bit so that's why I have to secure it with the tape over here and this is just an ordinary stationary tape the transparent one but uh, if you have the sort of that yellowish tape which uh, prevents fire so I would recommend you use that but uh, it is what it is so now let's uh, connect them together so this is the connection so the power lead as you can see this is the positive and this will be a positive end it will go from here through these two batteries these are singular batteries i have told before they will come out of here then we'll connect the wire from this battery to this battery so that the connection will first go from here then it will go here from here it will go upwards again and from here it will come out and then we'll do the same thing that is to connect 
to over here so we'll connect it over here and then finally it will come out from here so sort of an s shape as you can see so it will go just like this and then come down then go to the right then come down then go to the left just like so so here just uh, double check triple check everything before just soldering away because uh, we need to connect all these four terminals here together and on the top we need to connect all these four terminals so this four and this four so as you can see the difference which pins we are leaving on the extreme left and right over here so just make sure that and i'm just using exposed copper wire over because i will be enclosing it in a very nice case so just uh, using exposed wire will will not affect it that much so now let's solder them together So as you can see this is the final battery and let me just walk you through what I have done so that it is very clear to you. So as you can see the positive ends on this cell are connected together. So this is act as a one cell obviously and we have the positive wire poking out of here. Then at the back this jumps to the other cell and we have another wire poking out of here. I will explain why is this. Then the connection goes to the battery and then hops on to the another series of cell with the wire poking out and then finally down there we have the negative wire. Now technically in a battery you would say that you have only two wires that is the positive and the negative and you would be right but in this case we actually have four wires and this is because of the balance charging feature that uh, the BMS has so this way so each and every cell of your battery is charged equally so if let's say this battery has 3.7 volts then this battery would also have 3.7 volts same with the other one but uh, if you don't have these two connections then this battery may be all the way to the 12 volts and the, these may be up to 0 volts so this way the battery will be damaged very soon and uh, if we have the BMS then this way the battery will charge and discharge at an even rate so this is a very nice feature of the BMS to have so as you can see on the BMS as well we have battery negative battery positive B2 and B1 ports so the battery positive will obviously go to the battery positive port over here and the rest will align itself so if you place it just like so as you can see the positive terminal is over here and this goes directly to the B plus over here and then we have the B2 terminal which is this one over here then we have the B1 terminal which is this section over here and at last we have the B minus which is the negative portion of the battery right over here so let me just secure the board first to the battery and then we will solder it on So here is the finished product and as you can see I have also soldered some wires obviously red one being the positive and black one negative so that I can power up my device with the battery and they basically go to the this uh, power plus and power negative terminals on the battery as you can see they, which are quite clearly labeled as well and for the charging purpose all you have to do is just uh, connect these two terminals with the charger and connect power them via I think it's 12 volt supply I am not sure once all that is done you can just use a voltmeter to test the voltage on each of the cells and the main power output so that uh, you are sure that every connection is secure all the way across the battery and let me just show you how you can charge this up with the IMX B6 charger so here's the charger and as you can see we have output option right over here positive and negative so let's just connect the wires to it first just like so and at the end I have just some alligator clips that I have to clip on to the battery over there so let me just select the right battery which is the LiPo battery in this case but it is actually a lithium ion so just don't worry about that I will select that and I will select the LiPo charge at 0.2 amperes at 11.1 volts obviously you can change it according to your battery so after selecting all the right values you can just connect the battery to the charger so negative will be connected to the negative and then we'll connect the positive to the positive wire and this is a pretty janky setup but uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it so just uh, make sure to select everything correctly and just just 
long press enter and and then it will check the polarity first make sure that everything is okay so once everything is done you can just click on start and it will start charging it so as you can see currently it is at 11.41 volts and it is going up it so it will go all the way up to 12.6 and then it will stop charging so there it is guys that's how you can create a 12 volt battery out of 18650 batteries and using a bms circuit over here so thanks for the video guys hope you like it and if you have any doubts in this video you can comment down below i will try to answer them as soon as possible and i will see you all in the next one